Hey, what's up with guys? What's going on? Um, just a quick update on the Titan hose reel. Uh, a couple of quick things explained. So this is the Titan uh, 4812S. I'm going to put 200 foot of 3 8 uh, one wire pressure hose on there. I got it all flaked out already. And I'm gonna put it on pretty soon. I just wanna show you the connection um, like I was talking about and everybody pretty much knows. Um, everybody has a problem with the Titan hose reels. No, pretty much any hose reel, to be honest with you. Uh, where if you put the hose right out of here, so look, I'll put it, I'll put it straight. So if you, if you had the hose coming straight out of here, it would kind of jet this way and it would kind of, you'd have the big, like everybody else has in their hose reels. It, it kind of sticks out all the way out here and some guys put a zip tie, some guys put some other sort of plate. So I, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to look kind of neat and everything. So um, I, I just didn't want to do that. Um, so what I found was a guy on YouTube, I forgot his name, he actually got these fittings. So I'll show you what this is. This is, uh, so obviously it comes out of the, the reel as a half inch stainless. So I got from, uh, I think Pressure Washer Products, I got the, the fittings from. I got like two or three of them for, I don't know, maybe like 12 bucks, 13 bucks. Uh, so it's half inch male to half inch female. And then I got it home and then I'm like, oh, what the hell am I gonna do now? Because the, what do you call it? It's three eighths and whatever. This is half inch, and I couldn't find the fitting, so I actually went on Titan Fittings. Uh, you know, actually the company that sells the reels, and um, they actually had half inch male to um, three eighths female. So I was like, I'm gonna get a couple of those for uh, whatever. Those are like ten bucks each. Those are a little more expensive. Um, stainless. So then your pressure hose connects right to that. So instead of it being out all the way over there, it kind of, I can kind of bend this to go around. Um, so we'll see how that works. I'm gonna, I'm gonna reel it up right now and then uh, I'll show you guys a follow up. All right, uh, well here's the, um, here's the final product, okay? So like I said, that fitting is somewhere over here. So it's a little, doesn't have the, the big jet out kink like everybody complains about. Still a little bit, but nothing crazy. Um, just remember, I would do, I would definitely do this. Make sure, see I have, like I have each, there's two lengths on here, so each one is 100 foot, so there's 200 foot on here. Um, in the middle, at the 100 foot, um, one side of this hose has a swivel on this end, and the other side doesn't. This side doesn't have a swivel. Make sure you put the swivel on the inside. So at the 100 foot mark, make sure you put the right end on, you know, on, on the right end. Um, because you want to put the swivel in the middle because just in case you got, uh, you know, some kinks in there and right in that middle part, it's going to save you, uh, a whole lot of headaches. So, um, and I just got the, what do you call it? Just, uh, stainless steel quick connect on there. So, um, that's pretty much it. So I think it worked out pretty well. Um, we'll see how it works. All right, guys. Thanks. All right, YouTube, what's up? What's going on? Once again, Matt, uh, wash it up, pressure washing. I was standing out in New York. Um, I got a couple of things done the uh, past couple of days. I got my um, all my hose mounted on my hose reel, so that's all ready to go with all my fittings. So it's 200 feet of uh, 3 8 hose um, attached with my whip line and stuff like that. Uh, I also did the plumbing. Uh, that was a little tricky because, uh, you know, I only got a 4 by 6 trailer, so it's... Um, you don't got that much room, a lot of space. So you have to kind of figure it out, mock it up, and then uh, kind of go from there. So I'll kind of show you guys what I got, and uh, hopefully this works. Um, only time will tell. We'll see. Uh, if you guys have any comments or anything like that, any uh, anything to maybe help me out, it'd be terrific. All right, so out of my tank. Okay, outside of my tank, I have, uh, I got this little fitting to uh, a three-quarter, uh, three-quarter pipe. And I got a three quarter T and then it's all three quarters. So this is my, um, what do you call it? This is my, uh, my shut off, I'm uh, not my shut off, my bucket fill and my drain. So that goes out to the side over here. I got a little, uh, just a little spout at the end of it, just in case I got to fill a bucket or drain a tank or whatever. So that's that with my shut off. So that will be always shut off when I'm, uh, you know, operating, uh, doing pressure washing and stuff. Okay. Uh, it comes out. On an elbow, I really didn't have a choice but do an elbow. I know I really didn't want to do it, but like I said, I didn't have a choice. Uh, another shut off until, okay, then we got my uh, little little piece of hose there. And it goes right into my banjo, uh, 
banjo filter. Um, I'm not sure what the best way to put these up, down. I, I've seen guys do it both ways. I I don't know if you, if you haven't pointed up, how do you drain it? That doesn't even make any sense. I don't know. So I have it to the side and you just kind of unscrew that plug and it kind of just drains out, clears everything out of the, uh, the strainer that's in there. Um, and this, uh, this line loops around and it goes right into my pressure washer. Everything's just mocked up. It's just sitting there. I don't have anything tightened up yet. I don't have anything, um, you know, I want to mount all these down. You know, I want to, I want to, you know, put some block underneath there and just so they're, uh, they're kind of sturdy. But everything's just kind of sitting there right now. Um, hopefully it works. I think it will. Um, I asked a couple guys a couple questions. So it seems like it will work. Um, you know, we'll, uh, We'll see. Only time will tell. But I'm pretty happy with, every, like I said, everything else. Let me turn this the other way. Hold on. There you go. So that's it right now. Got the fill line. I guess I got to put the garden hose on there. I got my bypass on top. It goes to there. Also, what I did was, which I didn't realize, um, I had this fitting from uh, Pressure Washer Products. This fitting right here. So I took the garden hose connection off and then I put this fitting on there. I, so I took the garden hose one off and that actually had the bypass on that side that used to loop around. So um, I took that off and then I put that on there so I don't have to worry about plugging it up because most guys plug them up. Um, but yeah, I got the whip line ready to go that I also got from there. And um, that's pretty much it. I got uh, to mount the pressure washer down. I, I wasn't really sure where I wanted to put it. So that's where it's going to be, right, you know now so um that's really it if you guys have any comments or any questions uh anything i'm doing wrong please i can use all the help i can get um all the guys have been really uh really helpful everybody that's really helped me out so i appreciate all that um so that's it for now so um hopefully this helps anybody that's uh getting it going and stuff like that and then uh that's it have a good day guys bye